Hey everybody, welcome to Mom Plays. Look, we're starting out on a loading screen, but luckily it won't be near as long. Oh, hello. No, no, no. Oh my. I wasn't expecting like all these trolls to just be hanging out here doing their troll things. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. No. No bad. Bad troll. Bad troll. Oh, I didn't mean to switch myself into... <laughs> I have a habit of pushing on the, the sticks, and that really... Do I hear a fucking dragon? What? The... It's an ancient dragon, too. Oh, I wish I had dragon bane on me, because I upgraded it, and it does a lot more damage. Oh, don't even think about it. Oh my goodness. Okay, do I have... I have Dragon Rend on. Pretty sure that probably needs to be charged. Let's... Sorry, that just interrupted our whole beginning. We'll just charge you. And uh, next time you decide to land, which is on top of me right now, you will stay on the ground because ancient dragons have a bad, bad habit of just flying away on you. Really? I feel like we don't do... Whoa. You, like, pushed me into the rocks and everything. Don't snap at me, buddy. You will stay right here where I can reach you is what you... Hey! You're not supposed to be able to take off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get back down here. Mm -hmm. Ow, don't bite. That's what you tell kids, right? Don't bite. Mm. I really would like to just... Mm. There we go. Holy moly. Trolls, dragons totally interrupted us. So rude. Give me your soul. So while we're sucking up the soul, I will say again. Welcome to Mom Plays. We are playing Skyrim Special Edition now, which, look at, so very pretty. It'd be way prettier if it wasn't snowing everywhere I went, but. Um, so the whole point of where we are. Well, thanks for the snowberries, but I really wanted troll fat. Mmm, troll fat. All right, so the point of this is where we are right now is just outside of Dawnstar because, as promised, we are going to try to do Waking Nightmare. We are going to go into the uh, Nightcaller Temple with Arander, which is right back here, and hope that he doesn't glitch out because I, I, got, the, I got the quest on this character and it was going where it belonged and he went where he belonged this time so we are really hoping he's still in here and this does not glitch so we can do this daedric quest so without further dragons trolls or ado we're gonna follow him in here ow all right so hopefully I have my voice level kind of where it should be. It's not too loud, not too... Look at that. There he is. Okay, Arander. What are we doing? I'm following you. I'm doing it. And that should be Vermaina. The Daedric quest is Vermaina's quest that we're on. What would you like? What would you like of me? Give me just a moment, and I'll have this open. Will you now? Well, while you do that... We'll just unlock this chest. See, I still have the skeleton key. Oops. Yeah, we'll take those. You're just gonna burn the, burn your way through the stone? Oh, look, it's the magic. Wow. Look at how clear that is. Okay, wait. The Talos mistake? Okay, we don't need to read that. It is not a thing. What's up? Now I can show you the source of the nightmares. Over here. Over here, yeah. Behold the skull of corruption. The 
source of Dawnstar's woes. Now we must reach the inner sanctum and destroy it. Come, there's no time to lose. None? No time at all? Not even a little? What if there's just like a little time to lose? Just tiny, tiny, tiny bit of time. Oh, oh. No, you don't. You die. Oh, no, you don't die. Nope, nope, we can't have that. Damn it. The priest must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Looks difficult Impossible, to breach. actually. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I must check their library and confirm it can be done. You seem to know an awful lot about this place. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. Oh, really? Oh. Should I tell him he's a liar? He should have told me the truth. Yes, you're right. I should have. But I didn't know what to say. Well... When the orcs raided the temple, I fled. I left my brothers and sisters behind to die. I've spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for Mara. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrongs. Alright, I'm ready then. Bad, I bad man. I still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. Okay, so how about we say what does the miasma, the miasma do? The miasma was created by the priests of Vermina for their rituals. It's a gas that places the affected in a deep sleep. Because the rituals would last for months or even years, the miasma was designed to slow down the aging process. Okay, is this gas dangerous? Sadly, yes. Of course it is. The longer an individual is exposed to the miasma, the more the mind can become damaged. Those who've been under the effect of it for extended periods of time have been known to lose their minds entirely. Great. In some cases, a few never awoke at all. All right, so how can the skull be affecting Dawnstar? Lore holds that the skull of corruption holds a constant hunger for the memories of others. The skull has been out of touch for so long, I fear it's gained the ability to reach out on its own and try to feed. You. What okay. it does with these memories is just conjecture, and an argument for scholars and historians to this very day. Well, we're going to put an end to those arguments, right? All we right. Mustn't tarry. The skull needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. We mustn't tarry. Well, first we're going to tarry at these bodies because they have gold. Next, I do believe we want to go in here. No. Where do we want to go? Oh, we want to go up here. It's been a while since I've done this quest, for sure. So let's go this way. Mm, that's where we came through. Okay, where is it? It's just up here. Okay, well, open the door for me. What, why are you tal ter Why are you tarrying or whatever? We're certain to find more of the awakened within. Probably. Just open the door, dude. I got you. I got you back, Jack. Sure enough. One. Two. Oh, you are way, way harder to play with. Okay. Oh, look at the robes. That's really cool. I wonder if you could take... You can! Vermina robes are mine. I'll take your mud crab chitin too. What you got here? Uh, varieties of Daedra? Nope. No good. What have you got? Gold? I mean, I'll take the gold. Alright, where else should we go? So we are looking for... Books. And following Aranda around. Can I talk to you again? Yes, okay. my daughter. Don't what is it I can help with? Call me your daughter. 
You are an evil priestess of Vermina. I don't like that. All right. This library used to be filled with arcane volumes. Now look at it. Almost everything has been burned. Yeah, I'm looking I at it. It looks like shit. Still intact. Let's come back over here and go uh, 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 this way. <gasps> there we go. How about the dream stride? And if you want to, you can like pause and read it because it's kind of long, so I am actually not going to read it. So I found the dream stride. Is there another book we have to find? I don't think so. Can't remember. Yes, my daughter. Doesn't ask me about it, so. Ah, oh, he got up too far. Never should come there. You guys are bad. Is that it? Are you dead? So we'll speak to him. Even though I already found what we're looking for. Ooh, wheat. I'm gonna take those Vermina robes too. Because I don't think I've ever taken them, which is weird. I won't take those though. Barring any more interruptions. Perhaps we can locate the information I need. What am I looking for? We're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called the Dream Stride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. Well, found it. Let me take a look. <laughs> More will be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as... Vermina's torpor. Mm. I like how he's reading with his mace in his hand like that. Is that some type of potion? Yes. The torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. Well, already. That's amazing! Quite amazing, yes. <laughs> Alchemy and the blessings of a divine distilled down into a ingestible liquid. Well, I didn't Sadly, think I was going to rub it I all over me. I have to see it function in person. I'm going to be your test subject then? Because that sounds like nothing will go wrong. Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina or the unaffiliated. Well, I'm unaffiliated. All right. Do you know where we can find the torpor? I believe there is a laboratory in the East Wing. I if believe we proceed too. There, we should be able to locate a sample. All right, what will the dream stride feel like? You'll be viewing the memory of another through your own eyes and with your own body. Those around you will perceive you as normal, and you will find the words you utter may not be your own. Hmm. Thanks to all of these odd principles, there is quite a lot of debate as to whether this is really a dream or just the machinations of Vermina. All right, how will I know when to awaken? Important things to ask. I will watch over you as you slumber to ensure your safety. If I deduce anything is amiss, I will use my arts to bring you back. Otherwise, I am uncertain what will end your dream stride. Perhaps when Vermina's curious appetite has been filled. Okay, great. The laboratory adjoins the library. I'm hoping we'll find a sample of the torpor left undamaged. <laughs> I think everything else in here is like burned, so you know the only useful thing that we found was you coming, or are you just gonna stand there and keep reading that book? Okay, come on. Or is it over here? Oh look, there's a door. Open that. Oh, there's a chest. All right. Ooh, with an expert lock even get that lock picking to 100 even though I don't have uh, any perk points to put in it. Why? No. No. There we go. Mm, we know Firebolt. Okay. Are we going? Are you, are, you, are you going with me? Let's do this. No. You shall not pass. 
Uh, see what I mean? You shall not pass. Did I not know you could get those robes the last two times I've played? That's crazy. Alright, I know that there are people who are gonna wake up here and I don't want them to. Ooh! Okay, anybody else? Oh yeah, here they come. The Defilers? Could we name? Yeah, you see what I'm doing? I'm sucking up that damage with that um with our new shield spell. Ah. Spellbreaker. Find the torpor. How will I know what it looks like? It should be in a small bottle, very similar to a potion. Bottle. I'll begin searching up here. You just do that. All right. The torpor should be in a small bottle with dark liquid. Well, you're forgetting. I like to scavenge first. So, we will scavenge and get the gold that we want to get. Maybe some elves' ears. Mm -hmm. And a beehive husk. Okay. Alright, we can get all that. Look, we can do alchemy here if we want to. Oh yeah, scaly fotilia and Nordic barnacles. Ooh, slaughter for scales. I need those. Alright, we'll take those. Of course, I'm going to take everything. Yes, my daughter. Ruined books. What you got here? What you got? What you got? Skeever tails. Okay, I guess. Oh, look at that. Elves ears. Ooh. Ooh. Jesby's. Jesby's grapes. Which on this character, I don't have that quest yet, so I might have to go find it so we can do it here. Oh, I did not want horker meat, but now we have horker meat. Uh, Falmer ears. I got tons of those. Glow dust. Butterfly. I'm just going to take everything because, yeah. Ooh, Daedra hearts especially. I don't come across those that often. Ah, uh, come on. Ugh. Ice race teeth. And all of you. Anything else? Uh, those are low-level potions, so I don't need those. Ooh, is that void salts? Definitely take those. Hanging moss. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, Nordic particle and Falmer ears. Like those are not hard to come by, though. Oh, I totally did not want the carrot, but I do want the fire salts. Ooh, and the giant's toe. Oh, look at that. There's Vermina's torpor. While I'm busy stealing everything else. We'll finish stealing everything else. Ooh, hag rape feathers. Nice. And butterfly and luna moth wings. Come back here. All right. And we will take Vermina's torpor. So now we have to go... Ooh. Can I go in here? We will also take uh, that coin purse. I don't think we want to go that far this way. Okay. Let's go talk to Arander and tell him we found the magic bottle. And let's go... Let's go get high. Come on. I found it. I'm relieved you discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked by <gasps> the orcs. Why? There we so, go. So, I've taken us this far, but you need to guard us the rest of the way. Drake. Oh my. Here? Now? Dawn Star's fate rests in that tiny bottle. The longer we wait, the more damage Vermina could be doing to those poor people. I understand your hesitation, but I promise you that it works. All right, all right, all right. Don't be pushy. All right, so it says I need to we drink to Vermina's Torpors. So, oh, autosave. At least that doesn't take that long. First of all, let's charge that. Second of all, food. Drop those. And third of all, Drink it. The orcs have Whoa. reached the inner sanctum, Brother Varen. We must hold. We can't allow the skull to fall into their hands. But no more than a handful of us remain, Brother. Then we have no choice. The miasma must be released. The miasma? But, Brother... We have no alternative. It's the will of their Mina. And what about you, Brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of Vermina? 
Okay. Uh, well, I've made my peace, apparently. I'm ready. Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Nothing? Brother Thorin, we must remain here and guard this skull with our lives if necessary. But first of all, let's go take a look. There it is. Farewell. All right, release the miasma. So I've got to figure out where that is. Let nothing ugh, stop me. I mean, I guess I'll try not to. All right, we're going to go this way. Oh, the orcs are here. I hear them. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? Ah, I guess I have to go this way. And this way. Run! It's not letting me, um... It's not letting me pull my weapon, so apparently I'm not supposed to. So we will come... This way? Those orcs are so mean. Why? Okay, here we go. Pull the chain and release it. Look at all the purple yucky stuff coming. So apparently now I am here and if I just uh, don't know what I'm supposed to do. I thought I was supposed to pull the chain. There we go. Disable the magic barrier. Just took its time. So we will pull the chain. Activate it? No? Oh, Alright. We'll just take a soul gem. Activate the chain? No? Okay. It, it worked. Mara be praised. Right. You vanished after drinking the torpor and materialized on the other side. I've never seen anything quite like it. It's magic! It served a purpose. After what you just experienced, you are not amazed? I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> Does that mean you'll be quiet? Okay, we can discuss it later. We need to proceed. Indeed. My reverence for Vermina's machinations should not take precedence over our mission. My apologies. Sure, sure. The inner sanctum lies ahead. We must reach the skull and put an end to Dawnstar's troubles. Lead on, my friend. Alright, follow to him to the skull destroyed. of corruption. Am I following you? What are you doing? Just, just, you know, do it. Okay. Or, follow me! I don't think that is the direction I want to go. Is it there? Did I piss somebody off? Yep. Oh yeah! That is how you stop them. Hello. Ooh, small antlers. I need those. I mean, is that how you get here? There we go. It's a good quick beheading, just in case you were wondering how I did that. So awesome. Oh, I will take that. Apparently. There's a lot to go through to get there. Oh, no, you don't. Down you go. Silverside perch. We will totally take that. Um, oh, yeah. You need to die. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Okay. Gold and lock base. I'm pretty sure I don't need a shovel. Oh, look. There's just Vermina robes sitting there, too. Two. Huh. I guess I never realized you could take these. That's crazy. Dragon's tongue. Anything else that I might want? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll take the doll because, you know, the child said she would like a doll at some point. Even though I'm pretty sure I've given her a doll before. Oh, look at that. And money. Um, okay, we don't... Did I see a chest? Oh, look at that. Chest! 
Not that way, but this way? Hmm, not that far. I, we don't need elixir of the night, so we're okay there. Let's see, we come in here. I imagine there are people here? There are, but he's dead. But thanks for your tundra cotton. He's dead. Um, oh, and you are getting up. Oh yeah. And another beheading happens. We, we do like the beheadings. Okay. So in order to get there, we've got to go through this entire damn right. place. Place? What's going on? Barry, Thorin, you're alive. No thanks to you, Casimir. Aha. Uh -huh. I no longer use that name. I'm Miranda, priest of Mara. You're a traitor. You left us to die and then ran before the miasma took you. Yeah. No, I, I, I was scared. I wasn't ready to sleep. Enough of your lies. I can't allow you to destroy the skull, priest of Mara. Then you leave me no choice. Alright, I'm gonna go over here and take Thoric. And then we're going to find him. We're gonna make him stop shooting lightning. There is no mercy. Okay. I knew Varian and Thoric. They were my friends. Is this punishment for my past? Is it Mara's will to torment me so? Probably. Maybe they were right. Don't destroy the staff. They were trying to kill us. We had no choice. So here's the thing about this quest. <clears throat> if we destroy the skull, we do not get the skull as a Daedric artifact, as far as what, what I remember. And but if we kill a rander before he destroys the skull, then we can have the skull. He, either we have him as a follower, or we get the Daedric artifact. And I like no, getting the Daedric you artifact. Mustn't listen to them. They speak only lies and deception. I know, but I don't need followers. Had we aided them in releasing the skull, they would use it to wreak havoc across Skyrim. They. They had to die. They did have to die. It's time. The skull must be destroyed. Mm. If you'll stand back, I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Mara. Hmm. First, I need um, um, to remove the barrier. I don't know if I want you to do that, but I'm going to let you remove the barrier. How's that sound? Because I, I need him to remove the barrier so I can have it, right? I call upon you, Lady Mara. The skull hungers. It yearns for memories and leaves nightmares in its wake. Grant me the power Michael's. to break through this barrier and to send the skull to the depths of oblivion. He's deceiving you. When the ritual's complete, the skull will be free, and then Arinder will turn on you. Quickly, well, I know that's not true. Kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. Vermina commands you. Okay. My shall not stop us. Uh, I fell down. He is dead. Now we get the Nightcaller Temple Key and a couple potions. Hooded monk robes. I don't think I've ever seen those either. I'm gonna make him naked. He's got a lot of torches on him. He died standing. That's pretty amazing. Sorry, Arander, but I don't need any followers. I would so much rather have the staff. So I'm gonna activate the skull pedestal, and the skull of corruption was added to my inventory. That is gross. It looks like a spine with claws. Can I activate it again? No. All right, and we finished this quest, finally. 
finished the quest. So let's take a look at what we just picked up for killing a, an innocent priest of Mara. Ah, the Skull of Corruption. So, um, 20 points damage, uh, increases to 50 if powered with dreams collected from sleeping people. So you can take this at night and go into people's houses, and if they're asleep, you can shoot it at them, and it will power it up. So maybe we'll we'll try that if it's nighttime. Uh, let's get a closer look at this. It indeed is just like a skull top staff. It's kind of creepy looking. Yeah, that's. Can we zoom in or anything on it? No, we can't. That's as zoomy as we get. So that is the skull of corruption. Did I seriously just drop it? Come back here. Take that. Okay, that is. I, I seriously just dropped it. Okay. So that finishes our quest, but maybe, what, it's 30 minutes, I guess it is pretty much time to end it. I was hoping we could test it out on a few people, because that just sounded amazing, right? Just a few guinea pigs over here in Dawnstar, maybe? There's gotta be one or two, right? If we can get out of this wretched, drasted, blasted place. Oh my god, how do you get out of here? I mean, I guess I could run around screaming, let me out! I'm pretty sure we're right where we need to be. What? Why is this pole chain here? I activated it, it does nothing. Nothing, I tell you. Hm. Alright, that went to the library. There we go. That is so cool looking. Look at how cool that is. And it's just so crystal clear in the new version. I love it. Alright, let's go outside. Let's see if it's nighttime. If it's not nighttime, we'll wait for the next quest. Yeah, it's not nighttime. What time is it? It's really close, though. It's really close. And Dawnstar is literally right next to us. Let's go to, like, I don't know, seven hours from now and see who's sleeping in Dawnstar. All right, so, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, I mean, we're just far enough away that we should travel there, I think. Yeah, it's like 11.30 at night, okay. We might have to sneak for this also, because I'm not exactly sure All right. So who, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Somebody in here ought to be asleep, right? One of the stewards or something. Yeah, because the Thane is not there. This is perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to save it here because I want to... Ah, uh, god dang it. I don't want to jack it all up. And then we're going to go into here and we're going to equip it. Pull it out. He detected me. I took his dream. And then he went right back to sleep. Okay, dude, that was awesome. And you see now it's glowing a little bit. So let's come up here and see if this gal's in here. Oh, she is. So we're gonna come in here, close the door. I like how it kind of wakes them, wakes them up when it happens. All right. Thank you for your dreams. Thank you. So now it is powered with dreams, which means that instead of doing 20 points of damage, it's going to do 50. Very nice. So, I mean, pretty much that's, that's, that's what you do to use it. So let's uh, turn around. Oh, you can't, can't turn around myself. 
Oh well. That's really cool looking though. It's like kind of, you know, on fire or something. And then of course I put it away and you can't see it anywhere. I don't put it on my back. Okay. All right, so we're going to end the episode there. Uh, you have been watching Mom Plays Skyrim Special Edition. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>